Good evening from the Attorney General's office right here in Richmond, Virginia. I wish I could be with you all tonight, and I want to give a special thanks and appreciation to my friend, Pastor Byron Fox, who back when I was just a candidate was letting me know how much he was praying for me on a regular basis. And to this day, I'll be having a crazy day here in the office, and my phone will ping, and it'll be a text from Pastor Fox saying, no need to respond. I just want you to know I'm praying for you today. It means the world for me. And I know so many of you all in the audience pray for me on a regular basis. And me and my wife Paige, we're so grateful for that. Because right now we can see the headlines of what's happening in the world today. And we need prayer more than ever. I often say that as the Attorney General of Virginia, we're the people's protector. And that can both be major crime and against corporate misconduct. But it also means being the people's protector for your religious liberty. Because right now, it seems like we're under assault unlike any time we've ever seen before in our nation's history. We're even having the FBI releasing memos saying if you're a conservative Catholic and perhaps you want to worship or pray to God in a certain language, you're a potential terrorist. That's not what's the best of America. That's deciding that we're going to divide people and actually try to question who you are just because how you want to worship God. Well, Virginia is where we started that foundational principle under the Virginia Statute of Religious Freedom, that nobody should ever be discriminated against by how they choose to worship their Lord. And so I'm proud to be the people's protector. I'm proud to stand every day on the behalf of religious liberty for all Americans. And so thank you for being in the trenches, for fighting what we all know is indeed that last best hope on earth, that God has given a special favor to this extraordinary country that has given second chances to so many, including my family. And so I leave with you with the words from St. Paul from his magnificent letter to the Romans. May you always be joyful in hope, faithful in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Thank you. God bless.